Uh, hello and welcome back. We are now in week four of this project, um, New Movement Games or Sticks and Lines. Uh, last week we looked at um, some other artists' work and the idea of copying or trying on different artists' ways of looking at the world and seeing what we thought of their ideas and how we could change them and maybe create our own games or our own play or performance out of them. Uh, this week we're going to go back indoors. I mean the weather's pretty poor today, it's very rainy. Um, so like the second week where we looked at indoor parkour, I thought this week we could look at um, our objects again in our environment and seeing if we can come up with some kind of uh, performance or in instruction. We'll look at some writing as well today to see how we could share our ideas and see if we can write it in a way that makes it accessible or able for other people to copy or share our ideas as well. Um, so to begin with, just as an introductory ex exercise, if you like, we just look for anything in our environment really and look about ways that we can make um, short-lived sculptures, so like very um, Yeah, sorry, so like um, one minute sculptures or sculptures that don't last very long. So like, for example, here's a pen. Um, we're looking at ways that you could kind of, maybe, maybe it could be like this as a sculpture or this, or I'm not really sure. There might be some other ways that we can attach this or balance it, maybe with some other things in the environment. Uh, might be maybe even just turning this bin upside down and putting this plant pot on top of it, like creating sculptures like this that stand alone, or trying to use our bodies, which is really what we want to focus on, is trying to use our bodies to make some uh, kind of sculptures as well, like for example, something like that, um, a bit like the lampshades that I was making in week two as well. Uh, yeah, so it's, that's just sort of an introductory activity to like look at some kind of sculptural thing you can create using your body and the objects in your environment. Um, yeah, really anything. You could look at things like balancing balancing things uh, on yourself or against yourself on a, on a wall or a chair or like that pen, hanging things off your your yourself in different places like your lips or maybe you can think about using... Um, fruits and vegetables and things like that. I mean, I know this is a bit like um, an Irwin uh, Verm, I think his name is. That's how you say it, I'm not sure. But um, artist who does something like with a banana, but I think it's that way around, puts it in a, like a mouth, like as a sculpture as well. But um, I'm sure you could come up with your own ideas looking at what you have in your in your room or surroundings. Some of the um, sculptures <clears throat> that we made um, in response to this kind of idea uh, were first shared with them um, uh, in a rumpus room. It was called Mutual Playing Ground, like a kind of workshop, series of workshops that we did with Monica Lyseka and Rumpus Room and myself and the young people of Govan Hill. And we they came up with some amazing uh, pieces that I wish we could show you. Or I think we have photographs. I can maybe put up some photographs just now to see some of the things that we did. Um, but there were some fantastic uh, interpretations of what we should do. So I think I'll just share some of those now as well. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick example of uh, freestyle measuring. I'm just using, I've got two tapes here. I've got a five metre one and a three metre one. This is a bit more of like a sport tape. Uh, bit more freestyle and a bit thinner and easier to put in your pocket. This is sort of more standard style. Uh, okay, so basically you just pull it out, keeping one thumb there, like that, and you just go up as high as you can until it breaks. Let's see if you can get what I mean and move far enough back.
Okay. So, reading there, we'll go, um, we'll go with feet, that's, um, seven feet I got, or 213, uh, centimeters. Okay, so you can have a go at that, and if you send me your scores, I'll put them up and we'll get, like, a leaderboard going. Uh, let's just try just a secondary one, like the sport tape here, three meters. This would be a bit of a smaller one, I think. Yeah, we've got um, 51 inch inches there. I don't even know how many feet that is. Uh, my math's not working very well at the moment in my brain. And it's 130 centimetres. Okay, so good luck with that. See you soon.